Hi, this is Pawan and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, we'll be taking a look at the strumming pattern and chords for the song uh, Mere Rash Ke Kamar from the film Baad Shaho, originally composed and sung by uh, Nasrat Fateh Ali Khan Sahib and produced in this film uh, using a mix of his voice as well as that of Rahat Fateh Ali Khan Sahib. Uh, a very interesting strumming pattern that I'm going to show you, not really a song that uh, someone will strum along with, but if you are able to play this the way I'm going to show it to you, you're really going to enjoy it. So let's get on with it. So the song is in E minor and uh, the chords are pretty straightforward. If you're playing open chords, all you need to know is E minor, D, C. Most of the song is using these chords. Uh, there, are, there are a couple of places where you need A minor and G also. Uh, and those are the five chords pretty much. And if you're playing bar chords, so E minor, D, C, and then uh, A minor and G you could play over here. So now let's check out the strumming pattern. I'll show you both in open chords and in bar chords as well. So this is how it will sound in the original speed if you're playing in open chords. Uh, so we'll use E minor for this and switch between E minor and D and C as well. If you're playing bar chords, now let's take a look at the pattern step by step so you can get your timing right. So if you're playing in E minor, this is what we played. So that's pretty fast, let me try and slow it down. I'll slow down even further. And if you're still not getting your timing right, this is what I'll recommend you do, as I've done in some of my other lessons. Uh, play along with me 16 strokes, 8 down and 8 up alternating. Uh, without uh, putting stress on any stroke or skipping any stroke. So uh, I'm going to call out the 16 uh, strokes uh, uh, starting with one. I'm going to skip calling out the other stroke so you will see how it sounds. One. One. So those are 16 strokes, uh, eight down and eight up uh, alternating. Uh, now I'm going to add stress to strokes 1 and 4. So 1 is a down stroke, 4 is an up stroke, and I'll leave all of the other strokes without putting any uh, stress on them. So 1, 4, 1, 4. And now I'm going to add stress on the 7th stroke as well. So 1, 4, 7, 1, and when you're playing the first stroke, always try to play that on the bass string. So those are the strings closer to the sixth string. So that gives you the, the first beat of the uh, uh, pattern. Now besides strokes 1, 4 and 7, uh, we're going to add stress to strokes 10, 12, 14 and 16 as well. So 1, 4, 7. So now let's try and play this pattern together. Uh, I'll start very slowly and then gradually increase the speed to make it sound close to the original. And remember it's a 16 uh, beat pattern with stress on strokes 1, 4, 7, 10, 12, 14 and 16. So 1 is a down stroke, 4 is an up stroke, 7 is a down and then 10, 12, 14 and 16 are the 4 up strokes right at the end of the pattern. So here we go in E minor.
one of the things that I did in that uh, pattern that I just played was I was switching between uh, chords in the middle of the pattern itself. That's uh, I know it's a little tricky, so uh, you could stay with the same chord for the entire pattern. Um, uh, but in the song, you'll need to do you'll need to switch between chords if you want to play close to the original. So now let's take a look at bar chords as well. So in bar chords, you have the ability to add a muting effect. So the pattern is pretty much the same. So if I was to play without muting effects, it would be uh, here we are uh, E minor, so it'll sound something like this. Now, so that's the pattern, it's pretty much the same as what we just saw in open chord. Now let's take a look at how this pattern will sound with the muting effects. Uh, uh, played at the original speed. I'm going to play it very slowly for you so you can play along with me. Uh, so let's try again in E minor. So as you can see those are the same strokes which we had uh, used when we played the open chords. So it's strokes 1, 4, 7, 10, 12, 14 and 16 where I'm adding the muting. And obviously those are the strokes on which I'm playing, uh, putting stress on. The other strokes really don't matter whether you touch the strings or not. So. So as you can see here, uh, here again also I uh, switched between one uh, chord, between the two chords in the middle of the pattern. So as opposed to playing, I played. So play basically I played the first eight strokes here and then move to the uh, the next chord for the remaining eight strokes. So as a result of which the the the, the strokes one, four, and seven are really coming out of this chord and. Uh, the strokes uh, uh, 10, 12, 14, and 16 are coming out here. And the same is with the movement from D to E minor as well. So let me do the switch between the two chords very slowly so you can see. And the same uh, concept applies when you're playing open chords as well. So the movement from C to D would be something like this. When you're playing it pretty fast, this is how it's going to sound.
I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, as always, send me your uh, comments and your questions and I will respond. And uh, see you once again.